All right, guys, we are back. Last we were here, Chris was heading out with the stranger to watch the stranger get brutally unalived. Okay, this is a game error because I said I was afraid of zombie. Oh, he replaced the zombie mask with the clown. Okay. He's gone. We're too late. Shh, quiet. We gotta go. Right now. We gotta find Josh. He could still be out there. <laughs> First, when you go, he'll render you a mobile. And then he strips the skin off of your entire body, piece by piece. And then he keeps you alive and aware and feast on your organs, one piece at a time. So the law stands. Yeah. Let's go now. It might still be near. Forget it. All right, so Josh had this elegantly choreographed. Lucky for him, nobody tried to leave out the back door. Oh, 
shit. Jesus! Yeah, get back, web slinger. Alright, that first uh, shoot it section almost got me killed because uh Statement of the night. Chris, where's the flamethrower guy? Uh, yeah, he, uh... He didn't make it? No. What happened? The thing, it... it tore him apart. Right in front of me. Oh, God. All right. Are these all the doors? Yeah. Are you sure? What are you looking for? Another way out. Mike, look, I really don't think that's a good idea. We should stay put right here until dawn. At least we're safe down here. Oh, yeah? All wrapped up like a little present with a bow on top for that thing to tear us apart on Christmas morning? People will come for us in the morning. You don't sound so sure. That is what'll happen, right, Em? Yeah, I, I mean, right? Well, you can wait. I'm leaving. Mike, there's no key for the cable car. Josh, he's got to have it. Josh? One of his dirty little tricks. Great, great. That fucking thing got a hold of Josh. Then... We're shit out of luck. I don't know, Mike. It's possible. What's possible? It may have taken him down to the mine. What? I saw some horrible stuff down there. I think it's where that thing lives, and... Huh. M? What? Fuck it. I'm gonna get that key right from that thing's goddamn bedroom, and then I'm gonna get us all the hell out of here. And what is all that? So uh, that old guy's bag. Is that a map? <gasps> that guy was prepared for anything. <laughs> Not quite. What is this place? Oh, my God. Wait, wait, wait. What is that? I was down there. It was horrible. You were? There have been a cave-in in the 50s, I guess, and these miners got trapped down there. Oh, my God. Some of them survived, but, like, 15 of them didn't make it. There was this reporter, and I think he figured out there had been some, like, big cover-up going on. I found these plans. They knew the mine was a death trap, but they let the miners keep working anyway. And I'm not sure what it means, but I found this chair. Dried blood all over the place, like somebody'd been tortured. Michael, I'd like to maybe focus on how we're gonna get the fuck out of here, please. I'm just saying, it's weird how much crazy shit's gone on up here. What's weird is that there's a tunnel leading from the lodge to the sanatorium, see? That's how I got back here. I saw this when I was down there. That's where it lives. Um. Um, what is, huh? What is that? Ash. Um, oh my god, oh my god, it's, oh it's my nothing. god. It's oh nothing, no. it just, it, oh no, it bit no. me and. It bit you, what bit you? The, the Wendigo. What? It's nothing, really. It's not a big deal. You okay? Shit. It doesn't hurt anymore, really. It's it's not that bad. Em, if that thing bit you... I, I know what you're thinking, and I'm fine. Are you? Yes. Emily, at least let us check it out. Emily, if the Wendigo bit you, you could turn into one of those things. Oh, that's ridiculous. That is not how it works. eating each other. Remember, he said that. Is okay, that so that means... Yes, it happens. If it bit you, you're gonna 
turn into one and then you're gonna turn on us. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god! You can't be down here with us. What? Mike! You gotta go. Are you kidding me? You're putting us all in danger. Like hell I Emily, am! Emily, you can't stay here. Mike, just cool your head, okay? We don't know if it works like that. Maybe it's just a bite. I've seen what these fuckers can do. And I don't want to see it again. What is this? Guys, what are you doing? The door's right here. I am letting you do this voluntarily. Oh, no, you're just making yourself feel better about sending me to my death since you know there's a Wendigo out there ready to rip me to pieces like it did with... Okay, oh my God, will you just go? Go, get out of here! Whoa, okay. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Mike, calm down. You're... You're gonna shoot me? Mike, me? This is the safe room, M. Please. It is not safe as long as you're in it. No. Not for us. Don't, don't do this. I'm really sorry. We're pointing away into the ground. There's no reason to shoot Emily because we're gonna go with legalese new rules. Yeah, that makes sense. That makes total sense. Oh my god. You did the right thing. I hope you did. Maybe. For now. Shit. Fuck, fuck. Keep an eye on her. If you see anything weird, you guys know what to do. Yeah. No one leave. Okay? It's not safe out there. I'll be back soon. What the hell? You okay? That, that he was gonna help us. The flamethrower dude? No, we don't have a chance. No, guys, it just means we've gotta be tough. We've gotta do this on our own. I don't know if I can. <clears throat> this guy's a little OCD. There's a lot of history to this. This says that because the Wendigos are mutated from humans, when they hunt us, they know how to perfectly mimic their prey. Just a lot of crazy stuff in here. It's kind of hard to believe, actually. Comes across as kind of a whack job. Shit. Shit, shit, shit. We've got to get to Mike. Like, now. Okay, so what I think that they need to tell Mike, nobody took the gun. Okay, that's smart. Um, I think that uh, what they were trying to tell Mike is that the guy has oh, a bunch Joshua, of them. Joshua, you should have listened to me. Because of your choices, people have died. 
I don't know which is worse, actively triggering events that lead to someone's death, or passively allowing a tragedy to occur. Because you couldn't lift a goddamn finger to help someone else. Remember last year, huh? How you left your poor sisters to die? You did nothing to help them. Paralyzed by your own self-centered fear. While a real threat was closing in. No, it's all about you, Josh. It's always all about you. Your game has gone terribly wrong. And your friends, like your sisters, have deserted you. He's looking more alone. dead by the second. Can you feel how cold your loneliness has become? Huh? Why did you hurt them? Joshua, why did you hurt them? They didn't hurt you, Joshua. Not intentionally. They made a stupid mistake, and a terrible tragedy befell your sisters. They did not intend for that to happen. It just did. And they were sorry, at least, until you subjected them to your night of horrific torture. Let's hope that it's not too late for atonement. And that your friends, if they still are your friends, can save you from something even worse than death itself. Why are his hands black? This reminds me of the walking dead door. Don't open dead inside. All right, this place has fallen apart since I was last here. Oh, that explosion. All right, so the next section where we are with Ashley in the uh, tunnels, I'm not going to leave Chris behind because apparently that kills Chris automatically. 
because the game gives multiple times to pick Chris off for whatever reason. And we're trying to keep everybody alive. I just need a pitchfork and a mob. Oh, the cross was buried the same day, February 24th, 1952. What happened to so many, to make so many people die on the same day? All right, cool. Okay, so the thing, my major problem with Until Dawn is that all of the clues aren't in chronological order as you would find them. So, like, I could be finding clues that aren't For example, that hunger totem, that was uh, Hannah in the woods when she attacked us. to see me again, huh? Hey. I was hoping I'd run into you again. All right. Good boy. All right, pal. Come on with me. All right. Here's the plan. I happen to see a map of this place, so we're not flying blind. There should be a way through the psychiatric wing that'll take us right outside the mine. 
Think you can handle that? Couldn't have said it better myself. Atta boy. Doki boy, calm down. Wish I could move like you, Wolfie. I'm stuck on this side. Got moves. Don't I, Wolfie? Okay, so that's progress. Disgusting. Well, you're the one that wanted to go play hero, so when the actual best uh, option, well, when the obvious correct answer was to stay in the house and do nothing. Josh is the rescue worker's problem in the morning. Not that I don't feel sympathy for Josh, but this is not worth the expedition.
hot sauce Christmas cake. This is fucking unbelievable. They are dying outside. I hear them screaming and crying. The hell, this hell is only is my only legacy. God's punishment for my mistakes. No escaping my fate. Death awaits me now. Jefferson Bragg. Okay, so that's the owner of the mine. All right, Wolf, I hear you, but I, I got to explore. Wait, yeah, the, Jefferson Bragg is the owner of the mine, right? All right, so we've got Ben Riley on our uh, ass. Huh? Wendigo wouldn't be that small. What's up, Ben? Huh? Huh? Alright, so I'm guessing this is Billy.
I was not paying attention and I missed that QTE. Right. Come on, you son of a bitch. Where are you? Can't get to me. Oh, so I gotta shoot him. One at a time, boys. Enough for me for all you. Okay, so now I got Ben Riley and um, Kane on me. Alright, time to light them up. down That totem wasn't new. Great. Got freaking Eddie Brock hot on my trail too.
Hey, buddy. Come on down. It's all right. Okie dokie, bud. Hey, I'll catch you on the flip side, huh? Yay! Now we've got nine survivors so far. Guys, hurry up! We gotta find Mike. Come on. Hey, I'm I'm, I'm kind of gimping out here, guys. Um, I think maybe you should go on without me. No, Chris, we're not leaving you. We're sticking together. Mike will just have to wait. All right, guys, so I know that I said before that there's a totem in the direction that the Wendigo's trying to um, pop my head off like a Pez dispenser, but uh, I'm not going to follow the sound simply because, uh, quite frankly, I'm going to play this game again with Carlos on, uh, on the channel, so I'm not going to go ahead and make scruples about missing a few totems. Okay, so Gwen Stacy is definitely under us right now. Oh, shit. Mike must have locked it behind him. Crap. There's got to be another way in. I see something.
How did I not see that before? Wait, hey, what about this? I mean, should, should we try it? Well, it's not like we got a whole lot of choices here. Okay, this is maybe the last place I would want to be right now. So who's going first? <laughs> After you. so bad you think this is the tunnel to the sanatorium of course it is where else would it go Chris I know you're hurt but you gotta move it all right I'm trying Ash mm. this right huh i mean what if something's following us yes fine close it but we gotta keep moving can you just catch up please yeah Who's there? Anybody? Jessica! Is it you? Hello? Alright, I can live with that. So glad to see you. Glad you're safe. Alright, so what was supposed to happen was I was supposed to go in that other direction, oh, look around, Close. find a totem, and then dip. Up no, 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 I think I can. I think I can do it. It's like a rock wall. I'm gonna keep going. You should head back to the lodge. I've gotta get Mike. Good luck. So Sam just drug us all along and risked our delicate asses because Mike needed to didn't read ahead to figure out that there were more Wendigos in the sanatorium. And by the way, that is 100% Mike's fault that there are Wendigos out there because when he blew open that um that tunnel entrance. He let them out. Ah. 
I beat you. I fucking beat you. Not this time, buddy.